Yo, yo, people, what up? Uh, playing five minutes, got a six game winning streak. And we've been winning by moving quickly, keeping the pressure on our opponents. Freaking Scandinavian, man. Alright, whatever. Come on. Uh, I don't know why I want to do something funny. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Ah, whatever, end game time. Okay. It's probably about even. I don't know, I should go like some quick A4 stuff. Make his life a little difficult. Uh, don't worry about... Not worried about that so much. Mmm. I'm in a castle. <coughs> My knight can't move in D1. <coughs> it's kind of annoying. Don't ask. Uh, now I can move. Alright, I'll let him mess my pawns up if he wants. I like bishops. I mean, the position's about even. I don't... Maybe it means slightly worse. I'm gonna go b3. I'm not up on time. I don't know how I'm gonna win this game. Let's, let's start with rook to d1. This, this move is pretty innocuous. Rook d8, I'm gonna go b3. Okay. I gotta defend my a-pawn, I think. At some point, maybe he should take his take on f3, but I think the pawn structure is... See, this is the problem with b3, is his weakness. That's why I didn't want to play it so fast. Uh, I think and it, this weakness takes more... Um, hurts more with rooks on the board, so I'm just gonna trade them off. And my knight on d1 will defend that square. But we really have no advantage, I think. Let's, let's come up with a plan. I'll get my king in, I guess. Get to e3 would be nice. If I could just transfer my king to e3 right now. All right, uh, so he wants to take my bishop. I don't really want him to do that, so I'm going to go here. Defend my knight, too. I want to just get my king in eventually. Uh, let's come up with a plan real quick. We have some time. I don't know. It's a little weird. I just wanted to go like like knight b2 and then knight knight to uh, d3. Just put some pressure. This b pawn is like the one target. If he goes a5, I can make that into a target someday. Maybe. Maybe I should go a5 myself. Hmm. Hmm. If he goes a5 now, I go knight f3 to d2 to c4. I don't know. We gotta find a way to take advantage of these these pawns. Okay, okay. Uh, that's like a somewhat risky looking move. Hold on a second, folks. What was I going to do? A5? With the idea of knight? This is a risky because he can. Ah! Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go F3. <laughs> Restrict his pawns for a minute, get some space for my king. That was surprising, but okay. Uh, A5 now. It's hard to improve the position too much. <clears throat> yeah, I think... Well, that's surprising. Why, why would he just give me the B-pawn? It's a mystery to everyone. I'm gonna just take it. Oh, he has knight d4. Alright, uh... Knight c4? No, king f2? He goes a5, and then I, he went to the b, c pawn, right? If I go bishop d1, he takes, I take, if he takes, hold on a second, folks. Bishop d1, and then I have c3 as a possibility. All right, I'll just do that. After pawn takes pawn, I can go c3. Oh, oh, 92. Um... I don't see anything horribly wrong with knight a2, so I'll do it. He's gonna take my pawn, maybe, and then I go c3. If he goes e3, I can go like knight c1. King f1, not so good, because bishop a6, maybe. Oh, then I go c4. 
Everything's covered pretty much. Although he has e2, then knight takes b3. I would go knight to... I don't know. I'll probably go knight c1 if, if, if e3. I think it's the most solid. Also, still up in time. What? Still up on time. Feeling good about life. Alright, I think I'm just gonna do it. See what he hasn't planned. Oh, knight e2. I can go king f2 then, though. He's a little, his position's a little awkward. Oh no, he has knight e4. Alright, well, maybe. Maybe knight e2 is gonna be equalizing. I do have some nice pass pawns, but. Knight e2, king f2, knight e4. He's gonna win the c pawn there, too, so it's just not good for me. Wait, king f1. Oh no, then if pawn takes pawn, I can't take it. Okay, I just have to take it. And I guess this move. I can take on g2 even. These bishops are good in these types of endgames is the problem. They're good, uh, they're stronger at stopping past pawns. Somehow, somewhat surprising. Why would you do that? Alright. Why, 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 why not just, okay. <clears throat> I don't know why he did that. Why didn't he just take on g2? And just start pushing his pawns. Now he's real low on time, so we have good chances to win to do that. Uh, I think we were better at some point, but now, we are, we're probably still better. We want a pawn, but also the time is like crucial. There's so much time on the clock. All right, so now is like when we can actually start thinking because of the time advantage, we can, we can start to use it to our benefit. Just keep the tension, don't do anything stupid. Improve our pieces. King e3 looks usual, useful. Knight c4 actually is knight. His king has nowhere to go. Nowhere good to go. Just go back to c7 or something. Just gonna make some random checks. Start hopping in with my pieces. I think knight to d4 is good. The end game's like bad for him. Because, um. Alright, let me think. Uh, it's bad because the, the past pawns. So we're way up on time now. Knight f5, g6 doesn't really help us. Knight b6 doesn't really do much. Knight b6, knight b3 is interesting. I'm just gonna do it to be annoying. Let's check. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Alright, so we blundered a pawn like an idiot. Um, the good news is his, his king is uh, wildly out of play. And we're gonna win a pawn here. This dominates his knight. The king two squares diagonal dominates a knight in general. He should probably go f5 or something to get his knight back in, but he doesn't. Alright, I'm gonna just win on the board. I'm like up three pawns. I mean, I'm gonna be in a second. Oh, two pawns. Okie doke. And we win! Seven in a row, baby. Oh, man. A solid enough game. I mean, again, this, this time stuff is so important because it makes your opponent panic. Of course, we were like, had no advantage at all in the opening. But somewhere around here is when. I mean, I don't know. I thought he would do. I didn't know what to do. I just played f8-3 because I was worried if I played a waiting move. Like, I wanted to, I wanted to go a5 to try to target this with knight d3. I was worried like e4, and then my knights are, are dominate. Like this knight is dominated on e1 all of a sudden. So that's why I played f3. <coughs> also, it helps my king get in. Starts restricting him a little bit. Only bad size takes away the square for me, but I don't think that's a big deal. I didn't like this move. It let me go to d3, but I don't know why I didn't just go. Yeah, this move made, made not much sense. Why not just defend that pawn? And yeah, like <coughs> after pawn takes pawn, I have c3. But this is this is a good move. But like he can just take this, and it's like, you know, pretty interesting in game. We have I have my whose pawns are faster, mine or his is the question. It's probably equal because he has a bishop, and he just starts pushing these pawns as fast as he can. 
But this is the way he should have played. It was just a little low on time. Whew. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.